Welcome to Altero, a world filled with romance, seduction, danger, oh no, watch out, intrigue, ooh, what's that about, night creatures, ow, secrets, shh, I'll never tell, and of course, food, yummy. So join us in Altero for Eat, Slay, Love. Eat, Slay, Love. Yes! Yeah, you're yes. right. Hello! 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 I love it. Hello. 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 Hi. And welcome hey, hey, hey. to Quest Keep, where we are totally fine and everything's great. And we're ready to play another episode of D and D. Why was that so suspicious? Yeah! <laughs> yeah totally fine. Everything is like... fine. <laughs> I have no concerns when you bring out the board, you have the outfit on. Today's oh. a no, totally normal day, you don't worry about it. No. Yeah, you're, you're, you're wearing a, an auspicious outfit today. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's all that mm -hmm. about? It'd be great if I could get to it. <laughs> Not because of you guys, because of me! <laughs> you can't fucking fucking get to the game! <laughs> Jesus! Welcome to Questkey, where we have fun. And sometimes we stay on our entire track and plan, and sometimes... Okay, no we don't. Sometimes we're way over here. But that's the fun part of playing tabletop games together. And we are a film studio full of delightful dorks who like to make projects happen and play tabletop games and make up things with our friends. It's amazing. Welcome in. This is episode 23 of Eat, Slay, Love. Woo! Or 17, part seven. <laughs> six, six, six. No, seven. I think seven. you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Math. I don't like how you all now know how I count things, but that's <laughs> When we get to 17, part 17 is when we can stop. Yes. <laughs> Soon. And then if we go 17 part seven appendix. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh jeez, mm -hmm. we're gonna start lettering them. Mm -hmm. We might have some announcements. Let's throw to Trevor. We Trevor. might not, back to Roz. <laughs> <laughs> go to Weatherman, it's gonna rain. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty weather. Uh, hi. Sure wet outside. How's it going? Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome in, good to see you. And uh, you might be watching on Twitch, and if you are, then you can go to YouTube and you can watch all of our other games. Uh, you can catch all the other episodes of this, and you can catch everything else that happens in Altero and some of the other limited series that we did uh, on various different other, what's the word? Game systems. Platforms. 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 No. no, no, same platform. Oh, yeah. platform. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. Okay. Channel. 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 Yeah, like, like you mean uh, streams we, of we media. don't always play D and D? We mostly play D and D, but we have done Pathfinder. We have done Star Trek. We have done Avatar. Uh, the what's it called? Avatar the Last Airbender. Avatar the, the, the tabletop game. The, 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 the Legends. Legends. Yeah. Thank you, Avatar yeah. Legends. Yeah. And then which sometimes is, you know Airbender. Yeah, just Star Wars. Uh, Star we've done some Vampire, Dune. we've done some Dune, we've done a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So go, you can go check that out, all on our YouTube channel at QuestKeep. Mm -hmm. Hey. Uh, you can also go to our website, ttrpg.ca, and there you can get access to our glorious merchandise, a small sampling of which you can see modeled on the players, but not the DM. That's something else. She sucks. She's, yeah, she, she's she, she just had to have a fit. You know? Yeah. yeah, she got secrets. It's okay. It looked good! Oh, oh, oh. Honey. Oh. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Look great. Murder you later. <laughs> uh, yes, and then uh, join us on Discord. If you are watching our stuff on YouTube, please uh, like, subscribe, and comment, and engage in other comments, and those kinds of things, and share our content. Get it out it there if you like what you see. And if you like what you see and you want to see more of it, you can support us on patreon.com slash questkeep, where you can get a slew of extras, including things like dice unfolded. Ooh. Yeah, oh, yeah, here yeah. we go. Oh, oh we fancy oh, okay. yeah, yeah, I gotta switch I, it up. I don't know, slew isn't the fanciest no, of things. Yeah, but it's so rarely used, oh, it becomes okay. b b bougie automatically. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure how that's how it works. It is how it works. <laughs> it is now. Anyway, anyway you can get a yeah, go down there. to the slough for, for hanging out for fancy time. Yeah. <laughs> I also like slough. Things oh, like yeah, slough yeah, off. Yeah, that's yeah. a good oh, word. That's yeah. also disgusting. Very rarely used. Mm. It's gross, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think only you Alberta and like Saskatchewan people hear slough and think, oh, wet spot in a field. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, we refer to the water out here as a slough. 
You can dis- <laughs> discussions like this and sometimes things about the game itself on Dice Unfolded on our Patreon. Uh, <laughs> and we also do really fun improv games for our sound checks where it started with testing levels and now it's it's nuts where we get prompts from you, the audience, uh, specifically from our Patreon supporters, and then we do those silly prompts and sometimes they just get done by Dylan when we don't have enough of them from you. So give them to us. Do it. Um, oh, geez, there was other things. There was another thing. I forget what it was. So I will just say that we play our game in the homebrew world. It is D&D 5e. Uh, it is the homebrew world of Altero, created by Matt and Roz. Uh, but we work, play, and create on the traditional territories of the Musqueam people, and we would like to recognize the privilege to work, play, and create on these beautiful lands, and we encourage you at home to learn more about the places you inhabit. Roz! Where can they find that info, though? Native-land.ca. Fantastic. Yeah. Hype. <laughs> hype. Hype. We're doing hype. 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 Is that what you always Hello. Doing? Hello. Hello. <laughs> I always add a little crack in my voice when I I'm like it. Yeah. <laughs> and here we are. Roz. That just looks like ah. Inside. How deep are we already? <laughs> All right, let's do this. The city of Rake. Yeah. In the country of Kaimond. In the world of Altero. Yeah. You have spent the last few days what has been the culmination of a challenging adventure through time and space itself and has landed you here at dawn, as the first light breaks, to meet Reaper Wheatflow at the Temple of Semjwa. Light is almost about to start pouring through a stained glass window in this beautiful temple, and you see some of the tenders, the acolytes of the goddess Semjwa. They are moving about, getting ready for the day, and Reaper Wheatflow waits for you there with a small pixie next to him dressed similar to you see me now. Mm-hmm. And she alights on his shoulder, and then she stands up and she whispers a little bit in his ear. And he nods. And she looks up at the light, waiting. How do you approach? Uh, I have a question for resolving things. I shot my crossbow at the wall, and you said to roll my perception. <gasps> and um, it was a... It was a t- It was a... Ten- it was no, a one. one. One on the percentile and a 10 on the yeah. 20. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I shall send you a note. Okay. But you shall notice something going on with compasses in your presence. I've got magnetic. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll send it to you as a note so that you can double check find your way. Sick. the full thing. Compasses all just point towards you. <laughs> <laughs> and them is the way. <laughs> a bunch of it. I am the center. Adventurers, oh my god, son of a. Can I help you? <laughs> As we approach and I see a uh, 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 Reaper Wheat flow, uh, I got it right. Um, I uh, like, ha <laughs> ha, hold, hold up uh, my wine squirt. <laughs> and I uh, see, <laughs> hi. Good morning. As you bring out the corkscrew, a couple of the tenders that you recognize from Mm -hmm. your first meeting, they're all like, oh, she's back, she's back. And you hear them kind of whisper amongst each other. And one of them runs over to you with a bottle of wine. And and they're like, could you, could you open it? Uh, Yeah, sure. I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere, right? Oh, that's awesome. It's the beginning of the whole thing, I bet. (laughs) <laughs> we were here at the moment. This is going to be a thing. <laughs> and and you, you watch all of the tenders get really like, <gasps> pop it out. Uh, I take off the, uh, or I, I, pa- I ha- pass it to them so they can smell the cork, you know, as you do for a thing. <gasps> here you go. <laughs> okay. And, and you pass the cork back <laughs> to her? Yes. <gasps> and you, you notice like she like shares it around and she like looks at it with everyone and they're like, <sighs> Can I keep this? Yeah, I mean, it's your, it's your bottle of wine. <gasps> and you watch as she pulls out a chain from her pocket, mm-hmm. and then uh, she screws a hole through the cork, and she walks, walks the chain, and then she ties it around her neck. Oh, 
Say something uh, insightful. Um. About Semjua. All we are is dust <laughs> in the wind. <laughs> wow. Dust, wind. Oh, you're good. Dude. Dude. <laughs> and then all, all the other tenders are like, dude. Or you could also go, um, like, uh, fuck on. Oh, that's good, yeah. Uh, and fuck on. Oh! <laughs> I... Ella's not here yet. Shit. Otherwise she'd be correcting Damn. me, like, because that's fuck on. <laughs> yeah. So they, they are all like, oh, yeah. And then you watch a couple of them, and Weed Flow is like... <sighs> I'm a reaper. I'm chosen by Shemsa. And then he kind of looks over at the tenders and he's like, you have duties, go. Mm-hmm. Tend to them. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, tendies. They're not the tendies. Oh. They're the tenders. Right. Yes. Mm. Okay. Tomato, tomato. Hey. Ah. I love hey. tomatoes. Hey, dude. Good morning. Oh. Uh, Monazala. Yes. Is that guy wearing a cork? Um, yeah, the, you, you, missed the, you missed the whole thing. Um, they wanted Mog to open the wine with the corkscrew. And, like, it seems like it's going to be a thing. Okay. No, no, I... Yeah, I, I, yeah. um, sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do we have much longer to wait for sunrise? No. It comes now. Mm. And along with the pixie, we'll travel... To see her. And what is your name? Who speaks Sylvan? Probably not me. No. Uh, I only speak Elvish. Nope. LOL. <laughs> uh, actually, Broken I, uh, I speak two languages. Er, uh, one of my languages I don't know which I speak because um, it's from the old version of this character. And uh, it does not make sense in our world that she speaks Gith. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Speaks Elvish, so I'll say Sylvan too. Hey, hey, hey. La- lock it in. It's canon. Yeah. Yep. It would I only sense. noticed this like on break. I was like, wait, GIF? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, you, you see the little pixie kind of. She's still like standing on Reaper Wheatflow's shoulder, mm-hmm. and then she says, "Ray," and you hear the word "friend," and she introduces herself to you. As Fern Weaver. Fern. How's it going? Your uh, name loosely translates Fern Weaver. Oh. Okay. Beautiful name. name. Yeah. Are we? Do we? We're, what? We're working with pixies. Does this have to do with like the Fae or anything like that? Or? I mean, pixies are pretty cool. Yeah. River Weed Flow speaks to you. And he says. The druid we are going to meet is at a grove, and it is shared with many pixies. They are very peaceful, and they do not mean anyone harm. Why do you need to stipulate that? Well, I mean, typically they're not exactly like combatants, but don't wander off. Don't believe them if they're telling you that one. They can be scampy little tricksters. The trixie pixie is a thing. I did not know that. Yeah. I haven't heard it said that way, but uh, in this case, they are quite protective mm-hmm. of her and will flit about wherever she goes. Oh, cool. Okay. They are the ones that have told me about the problem, which is that Rifthana does not want to intervene because there is a dangerous plant loose right next to her grove. A dangerous plant? Yes. What, like poison ivy? Wait, you're, so a, you're a druid, she's a druid, and you're asking us to deal with the plant? She does not want to kill it. Oh. Uh, hmm. Are we going to kill it? I believe there is no other choice. What's wrong with oh. it? Well, usually, they are not quite so infested. And this one has had access through a sad, tragic event in the mountains, to a large harvest. 
and it has grown very large and dangerous. And if the people of the town nearby notice, in Hamelaine herself included, they will all come out that way and they will discover the grove. And it should remain secret. Okay. Why do why is it important for the grove to remain secret? It has been secret for a very long time and Rivthana wishes it. Okay, I just mean that like, you know, secret I mean, maybe it's nice to get some tourism in there, you know, like, why, why keep a secret? Yeah, what's so special nice? about Sometimes you have special places and you don't want people pissing in them. Ah, uh, <laughs> That was a cheap shot. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> What's so bawdy? Don't be bawdy, it's fine. You pissed in the fountain and now you have powers. Yeah, Actually, how do you feel this morning? Do you feel anything different? Uh, do I feel anything different? You're a first level cleric and a fifth level fighter? Yes. <laughs> that answers enough. <laughs> light, light, light. No, <laughs> um, but you you have more ac- you have access to abilities now that you that are more clear to you. Yeah. Upon yeah. reflection, they have settled not just into explosions of light and fire from you, mm. but instead into abilities. Awesome. Yeah, I feel good and just kind of like, you know, just like a small little flame, just like boop. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice. It's much more under control, Mog. I'm very proud. Yeah. Hmm. Just puts her finger oh. into a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the thing. You kind of like, you do have to learn how to... Uh, Turn you know, it's funny. You get distracted kind of easy. Yeah. Some of the things what? stop the moment that you mm-hmm. stop really thinking about it. Oh. Yeah. Takes hand out and get, get just back on fire. Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, some of them. Not oh. all. <laughs> Damn it. Put his hand yeah. back in the bucket. <laughs> oh. We will need to teach her. <clears throat> and then uh, Riverweed Flow says, uh, speaks a little bit in Sylvan to Fern Weaver, and then uh, she turns back to you all and she says, I will speak in common then. Well, oh, yeah. that was an option. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have started like that. I mean, yeah. obviously, everyone here speaks common. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess is that it. obvious? Yeah, everyone everywhere in a city. I don't know everyone. No, it doesn't need to. It's, it's called common for a reason. It's the most common yeah. language. Yeah, when you're outside of your, your thing and you meet oh, people outside, outside your garden. Outside. It, okay, it, it's outside. very fair. If you do, they speak I'm common. I'm outside probably. now. Yeah. So, Fern Weaver. We're inside again. We're outside. Hey, we're all inside. Are we inside? We're, we're in the building watching sun come through the windows. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, right. I thought we were... Do we want to not be? Let's go. So, for, I just yeah, want to understand Riff. Riff. Riff Thana. Riff Thana. Riff Thana. You know what? Don't Thana. Thana. You know it means mother. Thana. Um. She's saying mom. Mom. Mommy. Oh. oh. Mommy. Okay. So, oh. mommy. Doesn't want well, to get this rid of this plant. Let's catch. But you want to get rid of this plant. Yes. Okay, so you're going behind Mummy's back. A little bit. How dangerous is this plant? It's eaten many dead bodies. Oh. Oh, you... like did it kill the bodies or did it? No. Oh, so, so it's just, just getting the nitrogen. Like a carrion. Well. Bird? Um. Are you saying something? What was the unfortunate recent? tragedy <gasps> that caused the plant to gain a bountiful feast or bountiful harvest, as you said, of... Corpses. Corpses. Oh, it was a landslide in the mountains. Ah. And a whole caravan of people died, and it was very really sad. That is a shame. Uh. And then oh, we thought all of the beautiful plants that would grow after would be so fertilized. But instead, one corpse flower just kept eating all of them. Huh, wait, it was already called the corpse flower? Yeah. That's ironic. (laughs) Oh, okay. And it just kept getting bigger and bigger. Mm. And then all of the bodies that came back out were zombies. Sorry, what? Oh, that's a problem. Yes. Yeah, that doesn't. It's not normal at all. They just sort of like explode out. Uh, okay, so your yeah, uh, definitely <clears throat> should be going there. Your, your <laughs> mistress does Mother. not 
Yes, does not want to slay this plant. No. But... Why the hell not? Has to. Uh, what? Does your mistress know that you are here? No. Right. Even my wife doesn't know I'm here. Okay, wow. Um, so the... Are the pixies divided on this? Only me. Skyberry, all the other pixies listen to her. Sky, that, She's are all pixies beautiful. named like this? You are strong. Fern Weaver? Fern Weaver. Oh, okay. So this corpse flower, is it like a special thing? Is, it, is this it around all the time? Is this Roll like... history or nature? Uh, I rolled a natural 17, so Random. I decreased the DC and for a dirty 20 to see if she was lying about the event that caused all the corpses. Mm, okay. Non-natural 17. I got a 12 for history. Okay. She's Nature. she's truthful. Cool. Um, especially about the landslide. It does seem to, she seems impacted by the, okay. the loss of life and then doesn't seem to be upset necessarily that there would be death, but just that there would be like a bunch of zombies spilling out and stuff and things getting close to the grove that are uh, gross yeah. and dead. Ew. And- Sorry. Rolls for the corpse flower. You rolled a nature or history? Nature. Okay. It is an actual entity. Um, they're not usually enormous or anything, but they do harvest the dead. And But they're not very common. Okay. And so, zombies from them are not normal? Yes. Person? No, zombies are from them can happen. Okay. So I'll give you some of the other info that comes with the roll. Anyone else roll over 15? No, I did not roll it. Okay. I didn't roll, but I can. What is it? Um, nature? Nature. When these... When they, oh, sorry, I'll let you finish. Oh yeah, let me finish this info for you here. <laughs> so, uh, around them is a stench of death that can impact people. Um, so that's something that, that you would know. They can be dangerous if attacked. They have long tentacles that will lash out at people. And when they are near a f- bunch of dead things, they have an ability called harvest the dead. Hmm. And then um, that does mean that when you are near them, sometimes zombies will spill out. In, does this one, does it often have zombies spewing out of it? Is this a new thing? Well, usually it's just corpses. But in Altero, that link between life and death and, and Reaper Weedflow knows. Sometimes in our world, they are zombies. And this flower seems to turn way more of its corpses into zombies. Okay, when you're talking about corpses into zombies, are you talking about dead plants? Are you talking about No, dead it's the people from the caravan. Oh, okay. Um, do, was the landslide natural causes or was it uh, something else that happened? What else would it be? Someone might use a powerful spell to make it happen and then use the rocks to murder a bunch of people. <gasps> Why would they do that? Maybe they were getting too close to their secrets. Yeah, some people are assholes too. Yeah, this caravan was close to the grove. Oh, I don't think so. Mm. I think there was a tragic accident and usually the people would just wash into the river. Like that happens sometimes. Oh, Oh, it's so hard for me to not use this ring. How, um... It's an advanced supply. (laughs) How... Protective <laughs> is uh, this Rifthana about the knowledge of the whereabouts of this place? Because if we're going to go there, are we going to be allowed to leave? That is a thing that I am... We don't have to go inside. Okay. The grove. I rolled a 19 insight on her saying, like, being surprised that, like, mm-hmm. yeah. She's truthful. She does think that there was a an accident in the mountains and the caravan's been wiped out. Doesn't mean it's true. Um, uh, I will ask. She does feel, you do get the impression though for all of you that she is nervous that, you know, she could be in trouble, but at the same time. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna yeah. ask about. I say, um, how will our actions in slaying this corpse flower reflect upon us in the eyes of your mistress. That's a good question. 
we, I only accepted the offer for this t t task under the ass assumption that we would potentially curry favor with her. Yeah, we don't want Reaper, to Reed, Flo, and I talked about this. We think that... You. I think... Mm. I think... Rivlana will have to trust me. You? What about us? I'm not worried about you. She probably loves you. Yeah, she will chastise you, but she, she might loves kill us. Trees. She and likes me. You're not. Trees. She loves me. Reaper. You said she. Um, the temple is for Parath. 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 I mean. I um, believe that also. I agree. So there's a case to make here that the zombies are a problem. Yeah, Parath definitely would not. Be into zombies. Mm. Who's, who's Paris? God of nature and life. Right. Right. Uh, so <laughs> you can just see you ask that question. Reaper Weed Flow is like, oh my god. Uh, so this um, funny story. I mean, I don't have, you can tell me later how your grave robbing went, but uh, oh, so it I went it, weird. <laughs> 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 uh, there's definitely something weird. Go like, we knew there was something weird going on with the gods and stuff, and like, they're going for the god of love and whatnot, but I was at a wedding last night and it almost ended because, like, What's weird god wedding? shit going on and people being confused. It's when uh, two people decide that they love each other and want to be together for the rest of their lives oh. and they make it official and it's a big party. It's we're wonderful. We're getting married. Yeah, they're all right. It's a celebration. Yeah. It's a celebration of two people's love and they make a promise to each other. It's nice. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And it almost ended because, like, out of nowhere, suddenly, like, some creepy guy came and talked to them, it sounds like, and then uh, all of a sudden guy. a big fight happened, and uh, oh. it almost ended. And, like, there was a weird feeling there. Like, I got, like, weird paladin heebie-jeebies. Hmm. Um, hmm. And, uh, corpse flower. I mean, I saved everything, but... Corpse uh, flower will... What? Give us... heebie-jeebies? Heebie-jeebies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, point is... Uh, that was involving the god Mares, who's the god of love and beauty. We know that. Okay. Um, Allegra Pinia is clearly involved in this. And we're going to do a Parath thing now. All of them are gods of life. Uh, okay. There's the, also the Vermilion, the Kindness, and the, the Emerald of the Sea, the, the, the Plague. Yep. They're not life domains. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. yeah the, You're the, going somewhere. I can cut you off. The, uh, the other one would be uh, Adana Lastra. Okay. And uh, God of justice, all of them right? are good aligned, and then there's one neutral God of life and death, um, whose name Matt can't remember offhand. <laughs> um, we don't know what's going on with those two yet. So those okay. are. Um, so do you think that something? But I, I mean, definitely we got to go. It's all of these. Life domain things are weird, and then fucking zombies coming out of it. Like, zombies coming out of a flower is very much life turning to death. Look, sounds... I do not object with g g g going on this quest. I just want to be able to come back. <laughs> as do do I. Right. So this is one of the most powerful druids in the world. I pr propose that we do not simply go and slay a corpse f f f flower. No, we definitely talk to her first. Without first gaining her consent. That's a good idea. Is she open to a meeting? If maybe Reaper, if you were to parlay and... Is that okay? Yes, I believe that this is the right thing to do. Oh, good. Awesome, you know, you just be like, hey, got things. We're here to fix the problem. Hey, Fern Weaver, how often do uh, big accidents happen around the Grove? I don't understand time. How often? Yeah, is it a frequent thing, or do people tend to wander through the forest and just go away it's unscathed? Not, it's not every time the sun is up, okay. but it's not every... Uh, How long... This is yeah, going I, to get I far. think, I think, yeah, let's, let's talk to her. Let's talk to her. Okay. Yes. Um, do we want to... Uh, every season? Every, every season? season? Every season. Once... A season. That's pretty common. Um, yeah, I mean, the seasons change. There's fucking weather. It's mountains. That's people true. die. But like, yeah, but large events that 
she killed lots, lots of people. Of people? Yes. She didn't say that. She in just said accidents. Oh. Yeah, I think that she does not know, but the, yeah. anyway. Uh, uh, should we, since it doesn't sound like Rivthana is particularly friendly to outsiders, yeah. instead of like all of us showing up at once, mm. perhaps like me and you and Reaper go in um, and do some like, hey, also God, people, life stuff. We'll leave her out of it because she's just learning. And I could be the, I'll be quiet. I'll be the understudy. Yeah, and that's why I'll come in after. Okay, but I mean, I can be quiet. I can sit there and be quiet and take notes. Um, here comes the light. Yeah, you said this. your spell to get us there only works at sunrise, right? Right now. So we'd have to wait for a whole nother. No, we all go. No, 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 we all go there, but like the actual approach, you you guys sort of stay on the side, and then like, we'll go and say hi. Guess what, there's people, rather than all like. Yeah, I've got the notebook. Yeah, I mean, oh, we just fucking wing it. Let's do this. Nope. I like your plan. Shall we go? Yep. And then as the light hits the window, you see there is a spot on the floor that has a shimmer to it. Oh. And Reaper Wheat Flow takes a step into it and transfers through. Ooh. And if you just catch the right angle, then on the other side of that beam, you can see the grove. Ooh, on a beam of light. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, what is it for Weed Flow and Fern Weaver are on the other side. Okay, Chonkers, you ready? Uh, and you and Chonkers step through? Yeah. And you are suddenly transported. Woo! And as everyone follows, presumably, you are approaching what is the edge of a mountain. I have a scene I'd like to play out before I end. Okay, so you don't quite step through. Uh, who went through already? I did. Okay. Uh, I have. Uh, 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 do I see you yet? Mm. Uh, Onovan. Yes. Um, my notebook. What about it? Uh, uh l- l- let's go. Let's go. I have to talk to you. Okay. Let, let's. I don't know how last long this lasts. Let's go. Okay. There's. This is my writing, but there's a bunch of stuff in here that was not there. We will talk. And I step through. And as you step through, then on the other side. At the base of, or in the distance, there are some mountains. You are in a rather high up location. Mm -hmm. There are many tall trees, and just through them where you are, if you hit the right angle again, you can almost pick out that there are some stone ruins between the trees. And some unusual kinds of shapes, but it's hard to make out where you are as you are near the edge of a circle. And Fernweaver says, it's protected by magics. Are. But you are with me. Oh. And you can almost see through. Stone cunning. Is this the stuff we should not try to see? Like, should we look away so we don't have our memories destroyed or brains along with it? No, I want you to do this. And oh. I just think that she doesn't think she wants it, but she needs it. Oh, yeah, devil. Okay. You lead the way. Yeah. Uh, Allah, um, what you were just talking about? Mm-hmm. Um, I said I would take notes, and this is my notebook. This is my handwriting. But uh, there's stuff in here about Mores and tear care, and it says uh, uh, Dagger Finger, and it says uh, the name Arledan Hestinthal, the God of Lies, Hest. It's all just like notes, but I don't remember writing this. This was not there yesterday. That is definitely strange. It says Morris. Yes. Okay. But like, it doesn't say anything else. It just says Morris, God of Love. It stands out to you a little bit when Anthem mentions it. Had you noticed something scratched into your shield? Um. Yes. Yes. That uh, that word Hest was also scratched into your shield. Yeah. I. Just uh, it's a bit of cry. I thought it was just a scratch here, yeah, but um, yeah, close it. There's uh, I turn my shield around. And it's just like scratched into it. Roughly, it says uh, "Chef Hest Curse." Okay. Uh, it also says "Idan Gadi," the god of thieves and tricksters. 
Interesting. Because that's a sibling of the Danalastra. What? Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Reaper Weeflo is ahead with Fern Weaver. I'm walking straight to his rocks because I got a 28. <laughs> About to find out that backstory. Give me that stone cunning. <laughs> Them rocks old. This, mm-hmm. is old. this is old. These are lyrics. It's old. just this one page. Very old. Did you just touch stone and identify it as old? I'm getting more. I'm computing. What does that word mean to you? Beep, 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 boop, 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 okay. Boop. <laughs> It's just a little dial. <laughs> None of those things make sense in this world. <laughs> they are very ancient. Mm-hmm. They were part of a pyramid. Whoa. It floated magically with the point looking down. What might have fallen? It was never supposed to fall. Why did it? It didn't. Did it's it? supposed to be like that. Well, where's the rest of it? Please. Wait for me. I will bring Rivthana. Now we wait. Okay. Do you want Reaper and I to come or just Step forward with Reaver and await. Go no farther. I'm not going anywhere. Easy. This <laughs> smash cut to how did we get here? <laughs> 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 yeah, keep, an, keep an eye on uh, Mulder. That's, that's why I'm here. I'm uh, just do I have focusing on the person? rocks. No, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you, you write in your notebook very often. Yes. I do mostly. But mm. um, what, do you have any notes? Have you looked through? I have. And did you come across anything? No. You know, but for the blip yesterday, the spoon? Yes, I the... know of which you speak. I did not find anything ri- written down here. However, as I m- 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 mentioned yesterday, I did find something in here. Okay, what? Evidence of where we went to in the lost gap of time. For just a couple seconds? Yes. It appears that mm-hmm. where, wherever we went, time works differently. I found myself at the gate of a large, ominous looking tower. I did not step inside, nor did I pluck at the th- thread that c- connected us to that thing. Okay. What does this have to do with my spoon? It's just names. All the spoons we had. Whatever happened in there resulted in us getting random objects and yeah. you taking notes. So. They don't mean anything other than the god, like there's god names, there's a couple of names in here, but that's it. I didn't write anything else. Mm. That seems we made ex- stupid. We made ex- ch- ch- changes during that time. I bought rings for you, and mm-hmm. oh, yeah. during the lost gap of time, I gave them to you. Should have asked you, is the writing all in my notebook? It is. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, redact all that. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Edit that out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, Ella's gonna like you know, unsling her guitar and sit down and just kind of play a melody and really try and like close her eyes and f- focus and get a feel for the area. Um, and I'll use detect good and evil. What's the range? Uh, no, it's long. 30 foot sphere, but I wouldn't be able to detect like through walls. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a big old bunch of neutral, mostly around you. Um, if it stay, how long does it stay active? It's concentration. Okay. So. 
If you were close to the flower, knowing that you're a high enough roll, you would sense the flower. Okay. As evil. <laughs> it's good, surprise! <laughs> Reaper weave flow. How often do we How here? How close are we to the flower? Not close enough that you detect it okay. within 30 feet. Mm. How often have you been here? This is only my second time. Oh. Well, we. And he's, a, he's a little bit ahead of you, so he kind of oh. like has to like turn back. Oh, okay, he's leaving. No, no, no. He no, stepped there. forward with Oh, Alex. I see. Okay. So. This is only my second time. Oh, okay. And then Ala, as you're like in a meditation sort of element next to him, you watch him as though he's forced to his knees, and he just slams into the ground. And then he looks up. And in a, as though there is some sort of rustle of leaves to just coalesces into a person, you watch a footstep forward with a long billowing brown and green gown. Oh. Okay. that takes a step in bare feet onto the grass. And then through that motion, the rest of the leaves explode forward, and it is a tall, majestic elven woman. Very stern. Most of her is wrapped back, as though there are uh, leaves and uh, pieces of branches that sort of tie her hair up and back. And she walks forward in her flowing dress, Little pixies alighting all around her. I project to you immediately. Kneel down and be quiet. And I do exactly that. Okay. Are you taking a knee? Um, well, you're down in a meditative state and she, she just used magic to bring him down. This is uh, an, an honorific gesture in someone's c- c- court or d- domain. I was so, just wondering specifically if yeah. bowing or taking a knee? Uh, it's it's a deep bow, so yes. Okay. A knee, yeah. Taking a knee? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I will bow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll go down. <laughs> and then you watch her as she steps forward. She reaches out a long, slim set of fingers and wraps them around Weedflow's chin and then turns his face up to her. Fellow Drew, you've come. And you have brought friends. It's very dangerous. She looks to you already down. Why? Why what? Why us? Or why are we here? Both. Uh, well, us because we've gotten, well, I mean, Allegra Penia sent us pretty much. Um, and uh, to investigate all this weird shit that's been going on with gods. Uh, apparently around the life domain is what f- it appears for now. Um, Play for me. Cool, yeah. i just continue playing when I was playing. She listens to every note. Do you hear what is out of tune? Perception. <laughs> Roll an advantage. God damn it. <laughs> you got a sense for what she means because of yesterday. Oh my god. Well, at least it's not the one. Uh, what am I rolling? Perception? Yeah. No. Three. Yikes. You just stay quiet. In the moment, right? <laughs> I mean, you said I didn't feel anything with my stuff going, so. Yeah. Finish then. Why you? You say why you. But why have you come? It's our understanding that there is 
a corpse flower that is behaving somewhat abnormally. Um, and it, uh, it just lines up with a bunch of other stuff that's been going on. Um, there are weird things going on. Allagropinia sent us. Now we know something going on with Hest and uh, uh, Tear Care and stuff. Uh, and Langadii. Yeah. Um, and now something about Parath is coming along and we've got Mares and uh, Semjoa is getting involved in sending us. This is just... It felt like this was where we had to be. She puts out a hand to something is out of balance. Reaper wheat flow while you finish speaking, and he takes her hand and she pulls him up to his feet. You'd messaged me that you'd wanted to do this. And you come to ask permission first. But you come with news of the gods. Where is Pareth? What? Sorry, I said you'd lead. Pareth, your connections severed with Pareth? Not severed. Quiet. Interesting. Anthem starts visibly just like wanting to. <laughs> <laughs> and how long has this sense of quiet been there? Days. Have you not noticed the moons? I mean, the full? Still. Double, double. Still full. Mm -hmm. And as you think, it hasn't been that long, but it is a little bit weird that once they hit full, they have not changed. It was only supposed to be like last night. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I would notice all the sands of time as they slightly change, and yet nothing is different. And yet everything is different. The quietness of Pareth, did that come like in the lead up to the double moon? Or? I have noticed over the last few days, yes. It's been quite quiet. Ah, uh, last few days, eh? Um, so. Some crazy shit's been going on with us for the last few days, um, which is what got Lagrapinia and us involved. Um, do you know Heladon? No. Well, that's probably a good thing. Skyberry, deal with them. Do not wish to be bothered. And I do not want a single footstep in the grove. Is the corpse flower in the grove? No. Cool. Can we still go do? I don't really want to kill the flower. I mean, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. It just seems like. I just want to know what's going on that's changed. Fern Weaver. You make your case. I understand your peace. And I see your desperation that you would do this. That you would defy me like this? And the Reaper? Important enough. Worth it. Enough. So do it. But do not travel. My land. Do not touch my grove. I mean, it's a little standoffish, but yeah, sure, I can respect that. 
you watch it, she takes a step to turn and she just becomes leaves and travels through. And then you watch a bunch of little pixies kind of fly down towards this space and they land on a stump and one of them steps forward and she's got lots of yellow and red in her look and her hair and she's two big bright eyes. And she says, all right, I am Skyberry and I will lead you. Mm. And then you watch Fernweaver kind of land a light next to her and she like, mm. and her on the cheek and then she says, oh, so aggressive, it's not needed. They are friends and will help. They're not helping. They're doing what she didn't want. Vermeer said no. She just said yes. That is new. Yeah. Well, I haven't been that quiet for that long in ages. I am really impressed. Yes. That yes. was, oh my God. I didn't think you could do it. I thought that was gonna end up in disaster, honestly. We are still alive and that is very, very A pixie will watch over each of you to make sure that you do not come back and you do not cross this line. And you watch a bunch of them like traipse up and down the little line, being like, "This is the line." <laughs> I, Pansy, you know, I understand. It's it. adorable, but respect. I think we should respect it. Yeah, well, I respect I like sacred yes. territory and everything, but you seem like really concerned that we're gonna go in the grove. Like, do you, is it just that cool? Yes. It's so special. Where do I want to go? No, uh, I don't give a shit about this grove. I want to know. We, we, I, I, it's killing me not to say anything as well. I, I, can you or the really snooty elf help us get the hell toward, uh, uh, we don't want to be here, really. We do what we need to, but we don't want to be here at all. So sure, we'll leave after we do the thing, but she was we, really rude. We were, we were. I don't care how powerful you are. <laughs> Fucking druids, I want to be here. Duh. This is where I'm supposed to be. And Duh. Reaver Weedflow, who is standing and a little rattled, but he's like, oh. I might have exaggerated how close I was with Ruthana. Yeah, you, sh- you, sh- you climbed right up. You said nothing. Thank you, Allah, for leading the way. I'm going to lie to him and say, I think you were very brave. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you said that we might be able to get to Portales after you. we do this. Like, this is not helping us get any closer. Do you need to go to Portales? Yeah, being do. a little sarcastic. Do I need to go to Portales? It's actually yes. true. So do I. That's what I think. Yes. So I'm... Fern Weaver and I discussed it, and Fern Weaver was like, yes! Um, if you do this, I think Ruthana will respect that you did this thing, so you protect everything, and I will stay here and talk to her and make the case that she can transport you via plant, via tree, farther across the continent towards your destination. I've never heard of Druids being able to do that for other people themselves, yes. It's very powerful. Mm. Wow. This would behoove us to do correctly. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. I mean, it seems like she's barely wanting you to do it anyway. She Let's see how this is winning favor. She doesn't like people, clearly, but yeah, she doesn't believe that we're gonna solve the problem. She thinks that our solution will be to just kill it. Do you think we're going to have an option? Yes. Okay. Do you have a plan? I haven't seen the situation yet. So we don't have a plan? No. No. Right. No, we don't have any information. <laughs> no burning hands. Plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that is plan B, if we're oh. trying to not oh. kill this thing. The z- z- zombies. Mm. Hey, hey, good. Is that, yeah, yeah, right? Kill all the zombies we want. That's this okay. goal. Uh, think, of, think of the corpse flower as the forest. And the zombies are the beetles. Okay. That's, that's really good. We don't want to burn the whole forest Just down. the infected part. Just the infected part. Oh, yes. Okay. I get it. Yep. No problem. See, I told you, Skyberry. And Skyberry is like, everyone gets a pixie to watch over you. <gasps> I can't wait to have a pixie friend. Or do you, can you fight? Oh, and this is only Fern Weaver, and she says, we would never fight or pick up a weapon. Why? That's just against everything we stand for. You would n- never learn how to f- fight? No, I would rather die than hurt another person ah. or living thing. Oh. Mm. You should um, pay it. 
attention as you uh, accompany us then. Shall we? Mm. Yeah, let's I, I guess. Go. Skyberry, can you come with me? If everybody gets... Yes. It's easy to watch. Wonderful. Skyberry, Puddle Pansy, Meadow Wing, Dubloom. You love this so much, Ross. Mm. <laughs> Meadow Wing. I'm oh, sorry, Dubloom? Fucking yuck. <laughs> you don't remember Dubloom? Yeah. Oh, I remember. I'm Puddle just... Pansy? <laughs> I remember all of them. Not all of them. Yeah, the uh, Fern Weaver's new. Is Fern Weaver coming? Yeah, I have a bad feeling about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a bad feeling about. No, I'll leave it. Uh, which one did, did you say was wearing a red shirt? <laughs> Skyberry Sky is in red. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll leave a thing in different. Oh, I'll leave it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll You'll get it. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. Let's go. Nice unfolding. <laughs> I'm not asking. Ah, uh, Reaper, are you coming with us, or are you gonna get stay and try to make amends? No, fuck that. You're coming. You don't want me to stay and talk to, try to talk to Rathana? Oh, you're going to be so chatty. No, he is going to try to negotiate our transport out of here. She knows that this needs to happen. She just is very stubborn. She just doesn't like that you did it behind her back. And she likes plants more than she likes people, and your job is to cut Well, that's part of nature, too. It's in the name, right? So... You stay and do your t- 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 task. I would recommend you don't fail in that. Shall we? I mean, I kind of wanted to ruin to come help us find a plant, but okay. We have the p- 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 pixies. They will help us find this plant. Don't worry, we I mean, know where he is if we gotta come back and get him. All right. When you get close enough, your paladin will sense it. <coughs> don't worry, Reaper. I won't let you down. So I, remember, whatever happens, it's your fault that we're here. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you watch it kind of like dawn on him that that is true, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> just small bits of uh, flamey ash yeah. just falling off into the into the brush. You hope what it's not What are you casting dry? that keeps causing actual flame? <laughs> burning hand. <laughs> no, that's not how burning hand works. Yeah, just um, light. It's just an effect. Um, light doesn't cause flames. Mm. Yeah, she just yeah, she's been like yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The um, uh, it's flavor. I would say that's that's not the first time you've dipped into strong strong bad, but it's the most pronounced uh, your your accent. <laughs> God. Okay, so you leave Reaper <laughs> Flow to try to negotiate. Mm-hmm. So that if you are successful, you might have a way out closer home. And then the pixies lead you mm. through the forest. Oh, good. Stay in front. Well, they're not going to fight. No, I just... They'll just lead you. You know where you're going. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'll just be walking. What's wrong with walking? It, nothing. You watch that she, like, does it, but she does not even touch in the ground because her wings are flying. So she's like, walking, walking. Walking, walking. <laughs> Meadow Wing, so have you like known uh, mommy your entire life? Ma mère. Ma mère. Ma mère. Would you like to learn to speak Sylvan? Oh, yes. I'm going to absorb so much. I'm very good at languages. Is that true? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it to be true. <laughs> Kel, Just this one. Kel, <laughs> the forest. Mm-hmm. Kel the forest. Kel the forest. Kel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey guys, we're in a kel. Uh. Mm. She'll teach you a few more words. Yeah. As you travel. Do you have other questions for her? Well, I, I mean, the first question I had was like, how long has she known? Uh... <laughs> My whole life. Wow. Is she, so she's ancient? They have trouble with, you guys ask them a lot of things about the time, and right. you can tell that whenever you do, they're like really confused about like, uh, like older than me. Older than you. What's okay. the lifespan of a pixie? 
They don't know what time. No, no, no. I'm not asking the pixies. They no. don't know what time is clearly. What 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 is the lifespan yeah. of a pixie? Does anyone know? Mm-hmm. I rolled a four on my <laughs> knowledge of pixies. Would it be a nature check? I mean, I wouldn't know. <laughs> my my you can do a nature nature's check. one. Uh, is that a nature or a history? Maybe I d- dated someone who was like, I know a lot about pixies. Uh, Fifteen. Nice. <laughs> Imagining Onovan like having pillow talk about like how old do you think pixies are? <laughs> <laughs> I feel oh, like no, let's find out. Are they eternal? It's like, they... <laughs> did you know that p- p- pixies live for fifty y- years only? It's like, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> they really that's the lifespan of like so bad. <laughs> <laughs> really, they got the lifespan of like a gerbil. It's Just like, like my re- re- don't share. Facts after sex. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I still bust out the PowerPoint? <laughs> it like, turns out they only live like, yeah, sh- like a rodent's lifespan. And it's just like, they're like, my whole life. And it's like, oh, that's why you can't understand. Uh-huh, Your life uh-huh. is tiny. Yeah. Either that or it's thousands of years. Yeah, one or the other. I mean, we know it's at least nine. Either way, time <laughs> is a lot. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> time is soup. Mm-hmm. I tasty, can't tasty, figure tasty. it out fast enough. Oh, don't worry okay. about it. It's yeah, not yeah. that pressing. It was yeah. just a passing comment. It's a bit. Mm-hmm. Let's do oh, it. Can be a, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, know. they're fae, and they were like created by druids a really long time ago. They've got like lots of weird lore about them, so we'll have to figure it out for um, Altero. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is a thing we know and don't have to figure out, but the characters wouldn't know. So, moving in, on. In what our lore, <laughs> what is it, right? At least as old as elves, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, damn. Cool. Wing Meadow, do you like being a pixie? Is it fun? I also want to be a bear. <gasps> That's fun. Can you can you wild shape? No, I have no powers. Oh. Other than these powers. And she like flies her little wings, and then she like does a little like hop and. I would love to have wings. That looks so cool. That, yeah. You got a real cool image. Boop. <laughs> Okay, uh, my interaction with uh, my c- c- company Pixie Dublum mm-hmm. uh, is not like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna make my, my best friend over here. <laughs> Ray, friend, Ray. Right now I'm down, because I take notes. What did you write? Don't down? tell my friends, new friends I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote some notes during that meeting. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. They're kind of judgy, honestly. Mm. Um, are you taking us to where the corpse flower is or was? Skyberry definitely is. And okay, so good. Skyberry would be with you and would kind of look back and be like, it is this way. Oh, okay. You're a little intense for a pixie. I would hope much more than a little. Are you calling me little? You are little. You're the but, size of my head. Yeah. But great. Well, now's not the time. Okay. We fighting? will defend the grove. Oh, wait. Ow. You said you don't fight. Wait, no, that was the other one. We don't fight. That's so Fern Weaver is like, we don't fight. Okay. How do you defend your home then? We have magics that are made by Rithana and its little elements, and we fly them around. And they make it invisible to people. Talk oh. about a lot of defense of the grove. Is there like things actively trying to like invade your home? Not yet. Hmm. But if they were, they wouldn't even find it because it's invisible. So we don't need to fight. Skyberry, stand down. <laughs> when was the last time people met Rivthana like we did earlier? Do you remember a time when that has happened? Do they remember time? It doesn't seem that way. Yeah. Hammerlane came by. Hammerlane. Oh. Does she like Hammerlane? I didn't think so either. Mm. I liked Hammerlane. Hammerlane's great. Yeah. She was a little drunk. She's often a little drunk. Yeah, yeah that's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's kind of smelly, but she was fun. Mm. If Donna did not like her very much. Oh, well. I mean, Hammerlane is very personable and very friendly. 
And uh, Rivdana, your mother, is <gasps> not. Oh, no, she's great. We did not say that she is not kind, but she is not personable or friendly. Yeah, that was... She does not like outsiders. She said Hammerlane was brash. No, that's, that's true. <laughs> that yeah, is very, very apt. True. That's yeah. true. Mm-hmm. She doesn't appreciate that kind of attitude. This is... And Dubloom is like, you know what we spend our day doing is we spend time by the water, and I like to count pebbles, and I like to listen to the stream talk. Mm, that's nice. That's and what it talks about. The randomness of the universe. Mm. Right. Uh, I don't listen to. You should listen to streams. We should go to the stream. We're not going to a stream. We are going to a corpse flower. But that sounds dangerous. It is. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm getting Meta Wink's backstory. Did the streams (laughs) tell you anything in the lead up to, or just after, or during the landslide? Mm. I did sense it shaking. And did they... Shh. It's really more of a druid question. I don't know if you'd really know the answer, but did... She doesn't answer because Skyberry taps you on the shoulder and goes, Shh. We're close. Mm-hmm. And... We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and find out <laughs> about being close to the corpse flower. Ah, so yeah. Thanks for calling Quest Keep. What question can I help you with today? What does it take to be a hero? Some would say bravery. Some might say confidence. Others might say a brutal, unprovoked attack by a radioactive animal. But what if there was a better one? You get behind the scenes exclusive footage. Yeah, and if you're like me and you don't like people, there's some yeah. digital stuff. No, I'm not really on the phone, I'm just pretending. For the low monthly cost of one banana and a Blu ray copy of Rambo First Blood Part 2, you could not only be a founding member for the Quest Keep channel, but also use it to unlock incredible benefits, including Quest Keep exclusive updates, early access to content, private Discord community access with a VIP badge, discount on merchandise, lifetime founding heroes credit. Yes, all of that for the low monthly cost of a Blu ray copy of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom but with no banana, because that Blu-ray is priced just a little bit higher. Because we're such firm believers in democracy, we do have exclusive voting mm. power. Side chowder. Two side chowders. Join the Heroes Haven tier on Quest Keep's Patreon and become our hero today. Mom, stop calling me at work. In some tales, the adventure begins in a tavern. Not this time. In most tales, the heroes triumph over evil. Not this time. In all tales of my curse, I am bound forever to the Shadow Realm. Not this time. Your shoulder. Yes. She looks at you. She senses a connection with you and she says, Are you ready to fight? I mean, yeah. So what we do? Reach out, Paladin! Sense. Yeah, uh, 
cast Detect Good and Evil again. Hmm. And not very far away from you. Beyond some trees. Before you can see it. No, no. I'm just gonna. Clap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Blur. Arr. Blur. Blur, 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 blur. Okay. Blur. But also, I'll put you on the map. Yay! Please don't blur us. <laughs> blur. 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 Wrong Blur. 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 And then uh, next to each of you. Of Corpses course. have gone bad. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Pixies. Yeah. I'm gonna go like this and like this. Okay. Pixie with each of you. And as you pulse out, detecting good and evil, you sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the corpse flow. Oh, oh, very cool. Yeah. Super corpse flower. Yeah, as they show the bottom to the camera. Yeah. Oh, okay. It is for Alla. Oh, what tree. you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey baby. baby. <laughs> Alla, what you remember knowing about it from their from your good roll earlier? It should not be this big. Something <laughs> is wrong with it. Yep, it's fucked up. Uh. Does it feel evil? It feels evil as fuck. Yeah, uh, Skyberry, these flowers, they normally evil? Mmm, kind of a little bit, but not like that one. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. What's going uh -huh. on? That's a fucking evil flower that should not be that big. It's fucking huge. Yeah, that's a problem. You right. watch underneath of it as it rises up and like, Corpses are spilling out from underneath it as it rises, oh. and it's like uh. tentacles are. So, one more time, how we expect to defeat this thing without killing this thing? I mean, I I feel like we should just kill the thing. Curry favor. It feels more like it's corrupted than anything. Are you good at cleansing corruption from plants? I mean, I can give it a try. I've I can never done it before. <laughs> I kind of wish I had fire. I mean, I got lots of fire stuff, so maybe we could like. Get That's good. Mm. I think, I think, Paladin, that we must. And you can you can tell because Dubloom kind of hung hangs back. Not Dubloom. Uh, Fernweaver hangs back. She's like, looks back at them, and she's like, don't listen to her. I think we have to go in there and do something to it. And I think if we can at least bring it down, maybe we can at least cleanse it somewhat. Like pluck some petals. Yeah, I mean... Empty it of some of its harvest. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to beat the shit out of it a little bit. Um, but, you know, I'd like... I, I always came in here hoping we'd just have to, like, clean something, you know, do a little bit of... They shouldn't be zombies. Cleansing. A normal one should just eat corpses. Do they move around? I thought that mm, sometimes... You watch it take steps. I thought Honest it was a thing that sometimes happens, that sometimes does, zombies But, are. like, this one's been in the forest for a while. Hmm. Is this the first time it's done zombies? Yes. Oh. Okay, so we gotta get rid of the okay. zombies for sure. Fuck the undead. Where did that come from? Um, and we gotta cleanse the flower somehow, if we can, rather than killing it. How do we cleanse it? Gosh. That is going to be most interesting. I can do my best to stop it from advancing, but not without harming it. We just yeah, like... we're gonna have to harm it. We just don't want to kill it. All right. Let's do it. Let's Roll do it. initiative. Uh, I feel like we could just kill it. Advantage on initiative. <laughs> What? I get advantage on initiative now. Yeah, as as sung by AC Daisy. Guys. Guys. You guys. I took the mobile feet. 
I'm gonna start over here with Onovan. Mmm. 14. Alrighty. Mog. A juicy 13. Hey. <laughs> juicy. Yeah. <laughs> juicy. Juicy. And the 18. Ooh, baby. Ella. Still really pondering uh, oh. ways to do this. Five. <laughs> oh. Right. oh, sick. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just, I have two attacks per attack action now. We leveled up, baby! Yeah. All right, a bunch of you have magic items. A bunch of you have other new abilities. Let's go. Well, here's an important question. Uh, Flux and Clank said that they were going to send along uh, plus one crossbow bolts. They to... arrived to the... Barge right in. How many do I have? Yeah, 50. It's fucking right on. Nice. They were very impressed. <laughs> With my manic anthem. <laughs> I just want to make a thing and give me a thing. <laughs> well, Hamlin was like, I mean, eh. If, if Hammerlay was was partying with you guys and it's important and you're feeling flustered and it's important, then I better send as many as I possibly can right now. That was awesome. Interesting. How, how far away are we right now from the gross flower in the, in the zones? You, uh, so Alla is 30. So you are 35 and Onovan is 40. Okay. Alrighty then. And first to act is the corpse flower who rolled a nat 20 on its initiative. Whoa. Let's go. Uh, the first thing that it does is use the trait corpses, which it was kind of already doing, is is pooping out zombies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it do. Mm -hmm. It do, um, though. And then it... Wait, wait, let me see if it even notices you guys. It will. Ooh. It does notice. And you watch its like tentacles all kind of start to like coalesce. Coalesce isn't the right word. A, a tendril shift into the front end of it, where it's almost like it picks up a waft of something from your direction, and it moves its f movement, which is twenty. Mm. Theranos. Oh. As it heads towards you. What's your initiative? Five. And then it, uh... Ow! Yeah, Ella's just racking a brain trying to figure out how to, like... One tendril, it uses uh, an action to harvest the dead, and you it's watch it, like, again. scoop up a dead body and then pull it up inside. Are these... <coughs> Bless you! Pixie sneeze. Yeah, that sounded like a pixie. <laughs> All those corpses on the road, are those things giving it energy, or are those combatants? How would you know? Great question. <laughs> Guess I'll have to set it all on fire. All we know <laughs> is that one of the pixies said we have to get rid of its, like the corpses within it, like some of its, whatever it called it, payload or. Yeah. <laughs> payload. <laughs> yeah. It's Nami food. It's corpse pile. Yeah. 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 So it picks up a dead body and you just watch it go. <laughs> it folds it into itself. Uh -huh. One more time. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Everybody's got good corpse flower sounds. Yeah. Uh. Okay, following the corpse flower. Let's go. Let's just Here do this go. for an hour. Let's just do this. Yeah. We could. Anthem. Okay. The pixies are on deck. I say scatter and I cast fog cloud. Oh. So because of the ring, it has to be centered on me, but is a 20 foot sphere. So. 20 feet that way, that way, that way, that way. It's just it's so, bush. Yeah, big fog cloud. And I'm going to go 20 that. foot sphere or radius? Sphere. Yep, 20 foot radius sphere. Okay. Sorry, yeah, 20 foot radius centered on me. So 20 feet that way, that way, that way. That yeah, way. so um, the diameter and up. 40. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's hiding the pixies. 3D. 3D. Uh, it's 3D. And, and I will go that toward that tall tree. Yeah, I will head t t so 20 feet till I'm just on the edge of the cloud. So yeah, I'll just get outside the cloud and then I'm, uh, wait, that was an action, right? That was an action. Yes. Your pixie is over here, yeah. Sure. Um, 
So if I'm just on the edge of the cloud, once I realize that the cloud is, uh, uh, I'm out of it, I'll just duck back within it, because all I have is a bonus action. And I wait with my crossbow in one hand, and my dagger in another. Yar. <laughs> <laughs> my crossbow in one hand and my dagger in another. We right. can't see through this cloud either that that we're in. Uh, so it is it is all the elements of a fog cloud. Uh, uh, you create a twenty foot radius sphere of fog centered on a point within range. Although with the ring, it's on me. Mm-hmm. The sphere spreads around corners and its area is heavily obscured. It lasts for the duration, or uh, which is up to an hour or until a wind of moderate or greater speed, at least 10 miles an hour, disperses it. I love um, D&D. Yeah. <laughs> moderate? So, so heavily obscured. So, yeah. Okay. All right. The area around y'all is heavily obscured. Uh-huh. Yeah, which I believe gives people, we are not invisible. Okay. It must be winds exceeding 10 nautical miles. Yeah, what's the wind like? <laughs> Suffer yeah. from the blinded part condition. of forest, yeah. so probably not very strong. It is not yeah. windy. <laughs> so, it is not windy. Cool. So, heavily obscured, suffer from the blinded condition. So, okay. within it, you are essentially blind. You're blind! Which That's would mean blind. attacks are at disadvantage, mm-hmm. um, both at us while we're in it or for us against other things while we're in it. Okay. Yeah. Does it stay centered on you? If you No. Move? No, it's only it where you start. It centered okay. on me okay. Okay. and it stays in that area. Okay. On the pixie's turn. Uh, yours chases after you. Um, and each of you hear from the pixies. Um, we have maybe some healing. Good. But we've never practiced it. Oh, less good. <laughs> I believe in you. And and um, if, if you let them, they boop your snoot. I believe in you too. Don't touch I try to boop snoot. her snoot back, but she's probably like, you, you, her whole face. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Snoot, snoot. <laughs> Onovan, and then Mog, and then Ella. Okay, uh, I see that I am obscured and blinded. I would like to uh, step forward until I reach the edge of the fog. Okay. Um, I, am, I am out of the fog, like I, I can see. Because he was here, oh. so like. Yeah. Maybe it's like slightly more that way. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, I go, I take a look. There are loads of like bodies behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are they all zombies or are they? Can't tell. Can't tell. Are any of them blah, 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 blah in or? <laughs> it's not their turn. Great. Um, well, uh, they chill. I'm, not, I'm not gonna count on that. I, uh, at, uh, yeah, I'll say. You noticed that it moved forward towards you and picked up something that looked dead. It didn't pick up any of the rest of them. It seems like. It's picky about that. Maybe. It's leaving oh, these ones behind. Fresh. Great. Okay. Then I, um, uh, uh and, um, yeah. black. Blackness, uh, ink uh, uh, out of my eyes, or pitch uh, uh, out of my eyes, um, and I cast uh, Maw of the Dark Hunger on a spot behind the corpse flower, uh, where it will encompass more of the bodies behind it. So it's a t- t- twenty-foot <laughs> radius. Uh, I'm targeting the bodies more than I'm targeting the flower. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's a twenty-foot radius. Yeah. So you can get the flower and all of these. Okay. Right. Then get them. Yeah. Then. Okay. Um. So yes. Uh. Let's see. What does everybody roll? Ba 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 ba. Ba ba um, ba ba ba. Not yet. No. Uh. They're blind in it. I don't think that matters for the flower. Uh. But maybe uh, the zombies. Don't presume. Um. The. Uh, they, they they don't roll anything yet, but they uh, do. Oh no, they they do. I'm so bad at spells. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting better at spells. We're so proud. Just Thank you. Uh, the zombies have dark vision. Does that matter? 
Um, if that allows them to, it, it just says, uh... Magical darkness? Let's see. You open a gateway to the dark between the stars. A 20-foot radius sphere of the blackness and bitter cold. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Ca- cacophony of whispers mm-hmm. that can be heard up to 30 feet away. Uh, no light, magical, or otherwise can illuminate the area, and creatures fully within the area are blinded. Magical dark. Okay. Got it. A yeah. void creature, uh, uh, sorry, the, the void creates a warp. Uh, the area is difficult terrain. Mm-hmm. Any c- creature that starts its turn in the area takes 2d6 cold. Any okay. creature that ends its turn must succeed on a dex saving throw, which will they have to beat 16. Okay. And, or take... 2d6 acid. We got this. Cool, Ooh. let's go. Cold and acid damage. Wow. Cool. It's spicy. All right. Is anything else? Um, Do you want to pop back into the- It's clock? concentration. I don't know if that means I need to be able to see it still. No. Then- I think if you're concentrating on, on the effect, because right. you're not concentrating on them. Yeah, you're I just, I, I needed to be space. able to see, see it, to cast yeah. it, cast it, but now you and can now I can, back then, then, oh. then I will do exactly so, like I just, and then I like float back into the <laughs> Yeah. <block>. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, how does Do Boom feel about that? <laughs> she didn't see it, because she didn't move. She's okay, still back great. here. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. No. You're trying to, are you worried about that she might? Not, not even a tiny bit. Oh, okay. I, 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 Alan was just asking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Most of the pixies have plot armor, so yeah. <laughs> stay close. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them. Most, Most of them. them. <laughs> Except okay. the one that doesn't. Except the one that doesn't want to fight. Yeah. So, okay. Following your turn, it's Mog, and then Alan's on deck. Okay. Pacifist. So, uh, because I'm primarily a, uh, I'm gonna move 25 feet up. Yeah. Right. It's normal. It's like I don't need to actually say this. You're definitely out of the cloud. Yeah, that's okay. Yep. Um, no, it's good. And uh, I say, hey guys, watch this. Even though nobody can fucking see it because you're in the cloud. <laughs> and I'm I, going to yeah. cast Anthem can see a cube of fairy fire. Ooh. Uh, kind of like centered around all the corpses and the flower. So this is a deck saving throw. We have to save on 14. And uh, each object in a 20 foot cube within range is outlined in blue, green, or violet. So I'm gonna say violet. Uh, any creature in the area with uh, when the spell is cast also outlined in a light. If it fails the dexterity saving throw for the duration, they're covered in a dim light, yada, yada. Any attack I roll against the affected creature or object has advantage if the attacker can see it. Yeah. And the effect of the creatures or objects can't benefit from being invisible. Right, all the zombies have failed. Yeah. They have one roll, and the corpse flower succeeds. Boom. Okay. Boom. <laughs> all right. So yeah, but, zo- but you'll notice that like mm-hmm. something inside the flower lights up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just a glowy pocket. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it just looks like an ultra light. Anything else, Mug? Uh, I don't think I really have a bonus action that I can. Do so. No, I think I'm good. All right. Thank you. Ow. You're just obscured by the fog. Um, I'm gonna move towards it. Uh, my 30 feet. Um, Puts you within 10 feet of it. Okay. Ooh, um, maybe I'll stay just like 15 feet away from it. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna shuffle it a smidge this way, just so. Oh no, this way. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. <laughs> like on the map wise, yeah, yeah. that yeah, yeah. horizontal yeah. distance is the same. That way, uh, the viewer can see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As y'all approach. Oh hey bud, right up beside me. Okay. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna use yeah, a right. bonus action to wait. No. Oh, it's a lot of hair. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna wait for that. Um, get her. <laughs> well, I'm a mean green mother out of space. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame. So that's uh, 
16 dex saving throw. Uh, this is at the flower? Yep. Fleur. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's a fail for sure. Okay, so 2d8 radiant damage. I'll check just in case, but that's a three. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a plus 19 for what? That's a four. Uh, 12 radiant damage. Yeah, I'll Okay. Um, no, okay, so that's my action. And then what do I got for bonus actions? Um, that's the only useful thing to have right now. Okay. Uh, Takes the full damage. You notice that some of the petal edges wilt in a little bit. Um, you know what, what the heck, since, since I'm here, let's uh, toss a Bardic Inspiration out to Mog. Oh, thank you. So that's just a d6 for mine. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mog, you get the little bit of the, like, uh, jolt of energy <sighs> from the Goddess of Joy. Give her! Yeah! Fuck <laughs> on! Fuck on! All right. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> now the faces are really like, oh, liar. <laughs> uh, on the next turn, the bottom of our combat order, you'll watch bloop. Yep. And bloop. Cool. Waiting for. Yep. Uh, that guy stays down, apparently. <laughs> and bloop. And I think we got some bloops for over here. So. Bloopity black. And I think there's one more to bloop up. He doesn't have to stand. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, he'll crawl. <laughs> oh, no, we kill got, that one. Mm-hmm. We got two crawlers, oh. and we got one, two, three, four, five standers. Mm-hmm. Half movement for the crawlers? Yeah. Nice. And half movement to get up? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, cool. Um, whoa, whoa, see. they still have more to do. They get to half their movement to stand. They're in difficult terrain, too, though. Yeah, and uh, they take to damage when they start. Oh, that's what you're rolling. Right, right, right. Yeah. I thought you were back at the top. Okay. No, 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 no. Right, they're taking cold damage to start and then they make a check against their acid? Uh, That's when they end their turn, yes. Okay, yeah. so. What is their movement? Well, oh, all right. they're not exactly fast. Their speed is only 20 for the so walkers and 10 for, for the halfers. And, and then, then five ten. for difficult yep. terrain. Yeah. Uh, Zombie damage. They take nine points of cold. Oh, gee. Okay. And I'm gonna mark that down because when the corpse flower has its turn, that it does the same. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So how many of them can get out of this now? I think uh, um, it's 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 difficult terrain. They can. So they're gonna go slow. Yeah. yeah. Got like five, five feet. Five feet so, so this one can definitely not get out because he only moves five. This one moves five. This one can move 10. You should only move five. If they have 20 feet, that got halved but, by standing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then halved again for difficult yeah. terrain. So they only get one space. Jeez, jeez, jeez. jeez. All these rule lawyers over jeez, here. guys. Where's the board? Uh, ah, jeez. <laughs> Acid damage, roll. Acid damage. Because that space is like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Balls, okay. Acid. 2d6. Make way for the, make way for the uh, AOE. Uh, <laughs> uh, and that is seven points of acid if they fail their dex saving throw, which is 16. Ooh, zombies are good. Ooh. Cops flower fails the dex saving throw. Okay. Which makes sense. I mean, look at him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Big. I mean, zombies aren't exactly known for the dexterity. <laughs> Yeah, but they were just like, ah, it's cold. Ah, ah. Jazz. Yeah. Jazz hands. <laughs> Jazzy zombies. Okay. So they take the cold, but they don't take the acid. But the corpse flower takes acid damage. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, how much? Uh, seven points. Okay. <laughs> One petal goes. Cool. <laughs> okay. Takes damage. Actually, Thanks. that cold should be good. It would make it wilt. Anyway. Yeah. It depends. Cold snap. <laughs> That's happening right now, right? Yes. Daffodils are just gonna fuck right off. Oh, yeah. Okay, following the zombie's turn, because they can't make it anywhere else. Curse you, Ivan! 
All right. It's the corpse flower. Uh. Uh, which, as it starts its approach this way, the first thing it does is poop out a zombie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that um, zombie glowing? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, and then it goes this way. Shit. I guess it'll go this way so we can see. Shit. And it just mows down one of its own. <laughs> yeah. Ow. <laughs> this guy is still over here, though. Okay. Um, as it moves forward towards you both, it gets within 10 feet. And... Okay. It is within 10 feet of you, and it also starts to make attacks. Is there anything else active against it as it moves towards you all? If it's out of that... 20 foot sphere. I think it's exited it now. Okay. The zombies have not though. Yeah. Uh, it started, wait, cold damage at start of turn though, right? If it starts- Cold, turn, cold damage is start of turn, so it took, it-, it Okay. Takes it. It yeah. takes that, which is the nine, but because mm -hmm. it ended its turn, it does not take the acid. Mm -hmm. It does, it, it doesn't it end its turn in the um. Right. Thing. Okay. And as it moves forward, it makes three attacks. It will make two, aga two, two tentacle attacks against Mog and one against Alla. Damn! <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna use my reaction. Yeah, um, cast with fuck that. <laughs> protection, and it looks like we're within five feet you of are? each other, yes. so it has disadvantage on one of those attack rolls against Mog. Okay, Oh, thanks. Let's go. So that first attack roll against Mog then becomes a... Like 17. <laughs> the second attack roll against Mog that's not at advantage is lower. Awesome. And then the attack against Ala is a 15. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tanks. Thank God. Tanks. <laughs> this is the first time you guys have actually gotten up to like, mm -hmm. just like, you don't, you want to shoot. It's my first time using yeah. protection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Finally. Go. And I'm hanging way the fuck back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only stupid person here might be out of it. No. He's fine. No. He's within the, they can't I'm in the fog. I'm just, <laughs> no fog. <laughs> um, and your, your pixies have held back. Okay. They are staying in the fog. Shit. The... Okay. Yeah. The next thing that happens is it's Anthem, Anthem's turn. <gasps> Anthem? That's me! Sure is. Okay. Uh, even at 10 foot. How? If I. On a video, will be next to act after some pixie movement. Cool. Are the zombies. How many of them are in a 24? Foot, like a like a like a ten foot radius, so like a. If you wanted to go like these guys, point. you could probably get all of these guys. All those guys. Because okay. And they all have advantage to get hit. Hit them. Okay, I will. How's this for an encore? And I cast shatter. <gasps> Fancy. Uh, but their skulls and brains are ever so vulnerable. <laughs> I will. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna cast it at second level. Bloops. So. Bang! Uh, super loud noise, painfully intense, and they it's must country make country music. They're making. Twang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they make a Constitution saving throw. Okay, I roll and roll once for all of them. Country's fine. Don't 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 add her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I don't think this is good. Um, why would you even write this on there if the saving throw is plus zero? Why would you write that down? Just say no saving throw bonuses. <laughs> Four. Four. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Big, big fail. Uh, so three d eight thunder damage. 3d8? Yeah. It's not that much. It is when you you're only doing one roll for all of them now, don't you? It's <laughs> 15 thunder damage. Boom! Well, okay. Big loud noise! Big loud noise. 
Well, that's convenient for sort of. Okay. I'm just gonna, I gotta knock all of them down. Down is in prone or down is in gone? Unclear. <gasps> down. Okay. If you, you would be like, I'm gonna celebrate, but wait. But wait, there's more. Maybe. Okay, hey. and then <laughs> I, so I'm on the edge of the cloud. I'm gonna step to just the other side of the rock of the tree, the tall tree, boom, a little in front of it. And then in one, so at that point, I'm gonna say, you got this, and give bark inspiration to Alla, because you have. Wise. Uh, and then I'm gonna take another five feet of movement and just dip into the cloud. And as I go in, I'm gonna be like, exit stage left. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that, and even I'm like. Oh. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah. All right, following Anthem's turn, it is the Pixies. Uh, the pixie following you, they all just start to retreat back. They sing, where is my mind? <laughs> <laughs> I got a booth left for that. Be the mind. And uh, <laughs> Fern, Fern Weaver is there <laughs> with them. So they all retreat back to the edge. Mm. Um, and, and the bunch of them are, are tactical huddled up. Clump. Let's go. Tactical clump. Nice. All right. They feel safest together in combat scary. Okay. They certainly seem like they would be a schooling fish kind of creature. Air they fish. might they might go full Yoda. You never know. Mm, that's true. Parkour, 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 parkour. Mm -hmm. One can hope. Yeah. <laughs> you have the it's power one to make it. Happen. And then Mog, and then Ella. Um I am going to Ottoman, I would say. Are you within 10 feet? Probably 15. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, you're okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, uh, do I, am I, I guess I'm blinded. Am I, I'm not able to see where the corpse flower is. You're in the fog. Can I hear it? Do you hear this? Yes. <laughs> I hear the creaking of your leather pauldrons. <laughs> <laughs> Like this. I mean, I do hear the sounds of uh, of uh, of. You can hear. Con, you can hear con, combat in that direction. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, then I'm going to uh, step out of the uh, of the fog. Ah! Um, <laughs> right up beside it. Yeah. Uh, no. And then I'm going to stay out of the fog, but retreat from it. Yes. Yeah. I was like, "What are you doing here? Get out of here!" <laughs> and I go, "All of it." <laughs> I have a smell, what is this? Um, you haven't bathed in five days. Yes, I have it. Nope. I stay at inns. Uh, <laughs> if you can, haven't canonically said it, you know. <laughs> yes, you didn't. Um, and the zombies are still there. I'm going to maintain my uh, my concentration on that spell for now. Okay. Awesome. Mog. Okay, I'm gonna wail on this plant. Do it. Okay. So First of all, though, you start within 10 feet of it and the stench yep. of death. Oh, yes. Right? The stench of death. Uh, am I doing a saving throw? Yes. Would, this, would you count this as poison? It's not a poison, right? Mm. Creatures that are immune to poison <gasps> or the poison condition will automatically succeed. I have on an a advantage. a successful save. Against poison. What's that? Nice. I have an yeah. advantage against poison. And you have resistance, so you have half damage to poison, right? Yeah. Neither of which is immunity. I don't know if I have resistance. Uh, it it'll, it'll say oh, in your Oh, yes, you're right. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So am I doing this? Uh... It's almost as the creatures if you're immune to poison damage. Yeah. So you have advantage against the save. Okay. And if you fail, you only take half damage. Oh, for God's sakes. What am I rolling? What kind of save? A wisdom save? This is save? a constitution oh, save. constitution save. It'll also be Ala if you wanted to pre-roll. 15. Succeed. Ooh. There you go. Nope, I fail. Okay, I'll Gosh. come back to yours. Okay, so it's still my turn? 
It is still your turn. Okay. Go ahead and act. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my battle axe and whack it, trying to uh, cut away at the uh, tendrils. Underneath. Ooh, smart. Okay. Schmack a schmack. The roots. So that's a 15. Okay, hit. Okay. Roots. <coughs> Ooh, okay, so that's a 12 slashing damages. Okay. And I'm gonna do my second attack. Let's go. And that'll be a math hard. Uh, 13. Live free your math hard. It's a hit? No. A hits? Really? Oh, all right. It's a flower. <laughs> so it'll be five slashing damage. Okay. It's a flower. Flower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hitting something with that low of a roll sounds good. <laughs> nope. That means that thing's gonna take a beating. Okay. Um. And uh, I just uh, look at it and say, what a pretty flower. That's it. <laughs> Psychic damage, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna mess with its sense of confidence by giving it uh, nice flowery things to say while attacking it. There you go. Mm-hmm. You say flowery things? Yeah, exactly. Wonder if this is anybody's corpse bride. And so you're not immune to the to poison or the poison condition. Just try to no, win. I'm only immune to yeah. disease. Okay. So you will you can only wink like Lucille Ball. <laughs> be overwhelmed <laughs> yeah. by the stench of death <laughs> from the corpse flower. And you will be incapacitated for a turn okay. while you digest what this My experience own is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, it takes you out for a turn. Mm-hmm. Following this, both of you will be immune to the smell of it. Mm-hmm. It'll have just like burned out your nostrils for the stench of death. I've huffed ammonia. I know how it works. So <laughs> <those> corpse flowers <laughs> before. It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you said that last part. <laughs> that okay. makes it okay. It's, things happen in chemistry, yeah, okay? Yeah, like, yeah, no, I get it. Oh, yeah. I won't say how or why. That you get things? Cool. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Following the turn of Alla, which she loses a turn. Yuck. Yuck. Yes. Yuck. Good. She does too much damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, following Alla, it's the zombies who have to roll. Because uh, they're not down. Uh, they're starting their turn in that sphere, right? Eh? <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, let's say burr. It's cold in here. <laughs> There must be some hungry ma atmosphere. They take nine, <laughs> nine points of cold. I'm casting this spell and it ain't getting old. I should have been a bard. Yeah. <laughs> you should always multi-class. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> trying to imagine Onovan as a bard. Yeah. Trying to get these sorcerer spells, baby. <laughs> okay, so they did good on their constitution saving throw to come back. But they only get one hit point when they come back. <laughs> so <laughs> they're all like, "Ow!" <laughs> as they, they got excited that they come back to life, and then they also have to <laughs> as they freeze, Hello, right? Oh, darkness, my old <sighs> Fantastic. Are they all toast? These guys. Okay. Yes. Let's go back line. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. That'll be the, they will not be able to try that again. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So they, uh, are but, they dead, but, dead? But, but we still have some, some two n- various enemies here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two walkers and a corpse flower. Yep. Walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me if y'all heard this one. Okay, so <laughs> these two have their full movement and the only thing that's active against them is the fairy fire. Yeah. Okay. We're not using the Z word. So, this one can come at Mog. Mm-hmm. Ew, get away. Uh, the other Ew. one does not get close enough to you to act. I guess it would oh. have to use its whole movement. So it will get up in your face, Ella, but it cannot attack you. Hey, hey what is this? This is a little guy. Attack oh. away. Okay, so this guy comes at you. What is okay. the wording of my condition? Like, does incapacitated. That, do I just lo- okay. It says incapacitated. Un- okay. Yeah, just for a turn. 
mm. for the turn or for the whole Oh, turn? I see what you mean. Are you asking me about like bonus <laughs> actions, reactions? Yes. Oh yeah, does it have like a till the end of your next turn or? A... It says just this turn, incapacitated. Okay. Mm. That doesn't mean you. I'm gonna say that means I can't do a reaction then. Until the end of the turn. Can't take says... actions or reactions for incapped. Yeah, but the question it doesn't say them till the next round. This it is just true. says it's turn. for the turn, but that's a full. Yeah. So it, it would be really after after the the zombies are last yeah, to act. Yeah, round is the whole thing. Your turn is just yeah. your time to act. I'll just say reactions, which often aren't on your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll see if it matters. We'll play it. Out. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say I can't. Yeah. Mm. So. I believe in you though. This zombie comes at you, Mog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Dude, come on! I said you can do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> And slams into you. Yep. Oh, I said you got this. That's a zombie that's a hit, hit what? You a uh, twenty-one. <laughs> that does hit. Can I use my bardic inspiration on this? It doesn't add to your AC, right? No. no. Okay. And then you take Ooh. seven bludgeoning damage. Oh. Oh. I'm glad I didn't. I hate the undead. Suddenly. You did seven before. damage. <laughs> <laughs> Not until recently, I was like, you know, some of them were kind of hot. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Not no, zombies. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. I mean, that Jeez. hasn't changed. You get a leveling cleric, and suddenly you're like, ew, gross. Yeah, ew. <laughs> suddenly I have a preference. <laughs> my my alignment has shifted. <laughs> my preference is suddenly like with a pulse. We've grown so apart. Weird. Okay. <laughs> The standards bar just went. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Needs to be have a heart pumping heart. Yeah. Unavailable pumping heart. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Hey, baby steps. Yeah. It's yeah. an improvement. That's an improvement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're trying to be your best self. Yeah. The send you away. Mm-hmm. Send you help me. Oh fucking grass. I'm dead. <laughs> Unless it, well, no, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Okay, mm-hmm. here we go. Following the zombie's turn, we're back at the top of the order, which is the corpse flower. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody will be dance now. Yeah, yeah I mean, to be fair, Al is a paladin. Oh, totally that hit me. I have concentration. So. <laughs> I have to roll to keep that, right? Con save, which is uh, 10 to beat. Okay, shit. Uh, with your constitution. My modifier. constitution's modifier? Okay. Modifier. Or wait, no, saving throw. Con saving throw. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's half, it, half the damage. Hot, 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 hot. It's very. It's also that I have an insane con. But so that you know for con saves, uh-huh. it's either half the damage you take or 10 as a minimum save. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and you only took a small Seven. Small damage. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. On the corpse flower's turn. Um. It's the zombie has been attacking you, so it's it's all up in this. So three attacks against uh, Mog. Okay, bring it. Oh, these are good. Okay, mm-hmm. so we got a twenty-five, mm-hmm. a twenty-five, mm-hmm. and a twenty-one. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh. Wait. Um. Oh yeah, that was poison. Never mind. Yeah. Against my armor class, right? Silvery barbs. I guess on one. Okay. Okay. Free roll. That'll be a miss. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Save Thank you. One. Hopefully Thank you. That makes a difference, and I will give advantage to. Uh, oh, who's next? Uh, you also, Mog, will yep. make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. Right, okay. Is this also about poison? Oh, you mean about my spells? Nope, this is about taking poison damage. Okay, so this is. Uh... You have advantage on your next attack. Oh, oh my god, you would not believe this. So I have advantage on this. I got a nat 1 and a nat 20. Let's go! Nice. That's... Oh my god. I know. That die, that die is just rolling 20s all night. <laughs> Can I take a photo of it? Yes. <laughs> Post it in the Discord. Post it in the Discord. Is that the fourth well, don't or fifth do it until this that, that you had? Oh, today? Yeah. Oh, a long ways from now. Like six or something. End of March. Nuts. Yeah, yeah, someone needs to get their die uh, <laughs> tested. <laughs> <laughs> or. No, this one is betrays me usually. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do, you, do it for anything that's cleric related. 
Yeah, I think oh. I think I think it's because you're you're back on the path of righteous and fitness. Yeah. Okay, and, so this is this is the uh, cleric die. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then the other ones for when you start fucking up and slipping. Taking <laughs> <laughs> twenty three points of sliding. bludgeoning damage though, still. Okay, bludgeoning damage. Twenty three points of bludgeoning. So damage. that's not about po- being poisoned. That is not. Okay. And that both attacks hit, so I would like you to make a second Constitution saving throw. Jesus. So and I think individual important. tentacle attacks, yeah. Okay. Okay, it wasn't as good this time. Mm-hmm. So, so con save. 14. Uh, so this will be a plus, uh, this will be 15. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay, nice. nice. mm-hmm. just take bludgeoning damage. Okay. As the corpse flower lashes its tentacles out at you, mm-hmm. right in front of it. It's like, <laughs> slap, slap, slap. Is this another, or is that or the bludgeoning damage? No, from that's it, that's total. Okay. A wee. Do I need to roll then to keep my con up on my spell? When you take damage? Yeah. And would I be rolling it twice for two, for two different attacks? I would. You're also gonna at the start of your turn have to. No, 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 because you're immune now to the thing. Roll your roll your save. Okay. To keep this is to keep the fairy fire. Yes. Well, both of them succeed. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, you would only roll it once. Oh, okay. Just, uh, from the attack. Okay. I see. Anthem. Uh, I and then on take the five step foot out to gauge how we're doing and go, how we doing? Ah, good. And then I see that there's a zombie, the one that I got a clear shot on that looks suspiciously like Emissary. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to shoot him with my crossbow. Shoot him. Uh, that- You'll have advantage. <laughs> What? You'll have advantage. Oh yeah, because the fairy fire. The Better the first time. That's okay. Uh, Twenty-four to fire. hit. What? Twenty-four. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. That like is... with Jubal hits. Oh oh damn. With Jubal. Their armor class is eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, it would have been twenty-five to hit, and then a, a, a seven piercing damage. Seven piercing damage. Uh, okay. Magical because it's plus one bolts and bow. In case it matters. Um, still standing. Uh, that guy. Yeah. Okay. Going again. Oh, interesting. Uh, that is a fourteen to hit. Hits. Nice. Crap. That is a. Uh, or five damage. Oh, he's at one. Oh, come on. And then uh, I say, groove is in the heart, and I back into the <laughs> <laughs> I cast healing word on Vogue. Aww. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> uh, so you get. <laughs> Seven hit points back. Thank you. Yeah. That's probably the difference between staying up on another full hit. I hope that's the case. <laughs> All right, following Anthem's turn, the Pixies. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, Anthem, you'll hear the voice. The other four kind of fall back. No, the other three fall back and stay together, but you'll hear Fern Weaver and Skyberry behind you. Mm. And they are arguing a little bit. And one of them's like, kill it, kill it. And the other one is like, maybe we don't have to. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, you might want to heal my friends who are up there getting pummeled on by the evil flower. I will do it. Do it. And with her full movement, Fernweaver will fly forward towards. Nice. Oh. Funny, she's the pacifist, but she's like, gotta kill this thing. No, she's the one she's saying, the don't kill it. No, I know. But yeah. Oh, okay. Skyberry is like. Well, she brought us here because she believed it would be done, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. Internal struggle. It's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> you could be more than one thing at some one time. Yeah. All right. Following Anthem's turn, the Pixies go then on a bit. She didn't use, she didn't do oh, a healing thing, yeah, did she? Yeah, she did. Okay. You, oh, you get four hit points back. Ooh, thanks. Uh, Keep stacking them heels, baby. But she has no more movement left, so she's stuck next to you. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Get your tissues ready. You like mm-hmm. pixies. <laughs> Ottoman. Um, still two zombies standing. And the corpse flower. And the corpse flower, yes. Um, the corpse flower is the thing I'm concerned about because if I I can hit it, but I don't want to accidentally kill it. Um, so I'll f- focus on the zombies for now. I'll f- focus on one of them. Um, I think we're anywhere near killing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but. Also. You should get rid of the zombies. It's gonna feed on the zombies. Yeah, yeah. I'll, it'll regain. I'll, it'll it'll probably heal itself. The up. one that, oh, it, uh, she said only one hit point left on the one that I was shooting. So the one that's next. Uh, well, it's not a skeleton, but it looks like Swamp Thing. Yeah. It's juicy. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, but focusing on one of the. Z- Zombies, whichever one looks worse, which is hard to tell because they're zombies. <laughs> I am I'm going to Zombie Fashion Show walk. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Zombie Allen. I'm like, fashion I'm like sachet away. Uh no. Um <laughs> uh, I I uh call uh, that a hemline. I, I drop concentration <laughs> very good. I drop concentration on uh Maw of the Dark Hunger and I f- f- focus on one and just and uh, cast d- 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 dissonant whispers on it at uh, third level. So please make a wisdom Jesus. saving throw. You have to beat 16. Well, you did it on the one that looks worse? Or whichever one looks better. Like, like <laughs> whichever, whichever one needs to take this Like you could have just thrown a rock at the one that looks <laughs> worse. Whichever one needs to take a really big hit. Okay. A big hit? Yeah, yeah so the, the, the axe wielding one. Yeah, so the one Skip. that, yeah, okay. So this guy in the fray in the middle here. Yeah, cool. Uh, okay. Uh, still a shit roll. And it has plus zero mm-hmm. wisdom saving throw. Plus Great. zero. Why write it down? So that you know. <laughs> yeah, you know what you get? Fuck all. Hi, I rolled low. Yay! <laughs> uh, you take uh, 13 points of psychic d- 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 damage. Mm. What kind of uh, psychic uh, things do you say to that zombie? Oh, it's down! Uh, 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 only it can hear them, so yeah. you don't want to know. <laughs> I mean, I want to know, like, what are you insulting? It had exactly 13 It isn't an points. insult. It's um, like It makes horrible. a constitution saving throw. Yeah. I'm so sorry? And it fails, so it doesn't oh, okay, come great. Back up. God okay. damn it. Okay, great. Okay, okay, great. <laughs> I'm in, you, know, you can't see me. I'm in the cloud. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're just about there. Whoever, who, whoever that was a t- 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 attack, I just and Mog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You take out that zombie. You're hey. just here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, following Ottoman, it's Mog and then Ella. All right. Um. I can't quite see from my angle. Is that zombie the one that's still up on top, like right beside me? Can I take it out or would I have to move? It's a you have to move. If I move, the flower would have a reaction and yep. hit me. Okay, I'll stay on whack on the flower then. Um, hey. With the whack the away. old battle axe. Whack away. Go, go, go. Uh, so that's a 19, no wait, uh, to hit, no, uh, 22. Hits. Nice. Sorry, just math. All good. Uh, <laughs> da, 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 ten slashing damage. Okay. I'm gonna give it a little hit again. Ooh. Ooh. Ten. You missed the second one. Oh. Whiff. Darn. Wait, I can. Oh, it's too late because we already announced it. I can't use the uh, oh, yeah. card inspiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'm gonna end my turn there and say uh, to the pixie, get out of here. Okay. You are so squishy. What? <laughs> okay. Can I use my movement to pick her up and throw her like a ball back <laughs> into the cloud? <laughs> it doesn't work that way. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> Reverse Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> just throw her like a like you would a dragonfly. No offense. It's just like you throw dragonflies. I mean, if if I listen, if you if you, if you grew up on the island, you've done some shit. Okay. okay. 
Life is fucking boring. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> we had to figure things out you there. Caught yeah. a dragonfly, and then you threw a dragonfly. Look. And when you go to lakes, they just land on you. Oh, okay, okay. So you're just like ah, eat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And and it's like <laughs> nah. Yeah. I, I I banged my horn. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure I took some skin. <laughs> It's like, oh, it hasn't been a good day for you and horns. No, it's okay. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bog finishes their turn there. Yeah. And it is Alla's turn. No longer affected by the corpse flower, but Alla, you are faced with both the corpse flower and a zombie on your door. Okay. Um, Choose your spell wisely. <laughs> 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 Why is it? Uh, yeah. That's my uh, dungeon master from the 1980s. Yeah. Choose your spells wisely. <laughs> That's like a dungeon master from like one of the movies where it was like, beware of Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids yeah, into yeah. Satanists. Yeah, that's Satanists. right. <laughs> the satanic panic. Mm -hmm. But watch out. <laughs> when you roll the spell, you're also causing more than just consequences on the board. You're sacrificing your soul. <laughs> cool, I'm gonna... Uh, <laughs> to buy you enough time. Uh, it's like, hey, here's my melee, the giant flower. Nice. Um, Fire! Fire! So attack number one. So <laughs> I hit so hard. Mm -hmm. um, Love it. Okay, and I'm gonna divine smite that. <gasps> nice. Um, yeah. I'm gonna do that at second level. Nice. Well. More ACDC. And what classification is the corpse flower? I assume not undead or fiend. Could be. I assume it's like abomination or something. My notes say, large plant! <laughs> um, <Word>. Cool. Uh, <laughs> well, that's really all I need to know. Weed! Uh, Chaotic evil, plant! <laughs> <laughs> None of those things, so it's immune to your bonuses. <laughs> it still takes damage. Yup. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I appreciate you trying to go paper. Okay, so it's just the one zombie with one hit point left. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna do inspiring smite Ay. with Ay. that. How do you inspire somebody um, with smite? Oh, you had advantage on that attack as well. You can do it! Oh, yeah. Nice. So yeah. Like that. See if it's a <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I believe in you, Mog! It's not, yeah. but it's a natural yeah. 17, but yeah. yeah. Good number. Uh, oh, which you could choose to take and then take the bonus to your AC. Okay. <laughs> uh, she tanks, she don't need it. Blessings of a must. Never say that. <laughs> okay. Um, so that was damage, damage. Forehead really hurts. <laughs> oh. Stop playing with it. <laughs> so it's 25 <laughs> radiant damage. 25? You can't tell. Yep. It, it, it blends For in with the hit head. one. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm going to use my channel divinity as my bonus action. Ooh. And I can distribute temporary hit points to creatures of my choice within 30 feet. Nice. Um. <laughs> So that's... I almost said it like that, too. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, shit. She's not... So I've got 20 temporary hit points I can give. 10 of them are going to that damn fairy. I'm like, get out of here, Fern. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then you get 10. <laughs> oh, thanks. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, and then I take my second attack. Swing! <laughs> It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. <laughs> do da da ba 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 da da. hits. Okay. It's so easy to trigger. <laughs> 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 do 
either I, it's I, either silly voices or kitchen stories. Um, yeah, yeah, I have ADHD and two black parents. Of course. <laughs> I'm Wait, did I say I did that last strike at inspiring. second level? Second level. No. For the inspiring spike, yes. Oh, I did? I did? Yep. Mo- Out of another four to that range. More damage! More oh, damage! Uh, and then this one hits, so this one is. Thank you, Excel. Do the math. Lord. Thanks, Excel. And yeah, that wasn't great, but. Um, oh, Lord's math? What does that mean? Shem's Lord's math. So it's still uh, 20 more radiant damage. Fuck yeah! 20 more radiant nice. damage! Nice. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it is an evil flower, so the radiant probably. Hopefully, it's. But burning the corruption out of it and not uh, killing right. it outright. Hopefully. Hopefully. Don't Hopefully. Don't it's got energy it's going. <laughs> I said, leave this flower. I said, leave this flower. I got a nice book. The power of Allagropinia compels you. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Thank you. You have saved me. Really? No. <laughs> uh, I have more tentacles. It's an enemy now. And I'm going to use my movement to circle around it without like leaving the space to flank it. Okay. Um, nice. Does the zombie have Zombies. an opportunity? Zombie will make an opportunity to against it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> he tries to what slam happened? you. Oh, maybe. He botches and loses his last hit point. <laughs> he didn't botch. Oh. Nuts. Kaboom. <laughs> Quaisons. Let's just slam into you. Quaisons. With a 16. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying real hard, though. If you want to go, let's go, have you go this and way. Just like kunk with <laughs> like, Just like backhand like, him out of the way. <laughs> it's a living. <laughs> Wait, you're going for flank? Yes. Yep. Once a man. <laughs> We'll do there. It's fine. Okay. Uh, ass kick. Did that zombie have a backstory? <laughs> no one wow. asked me why then. Wow. <laughs> Stepped on. Okay. Our Baba. Following your turn. It's a zombie. It's a solo zombie. And it just like watches you go by and you like backhand it away and it's like <laughs> and so it, it slams into Mog. Blah! Okay, at least just me, not the fairy. Yeah, it tries. Not 20, baby. Nice. Whoa. Wait, no, boo. Oh. <laughs> so I have an armor cool. class of 20. Nah, I'm gonna live. But it's not gonna work, right, against a nat 20? No. All right. Yeah. You'll take double damage. Armor class of 20. Yeah. That's what I'm... Oh, wait, I used I have the, 21. That was my reaction at the beginning. You do something. Oh, What's yeah, hitting? Because they also have a plus one Nothing. to their slam attack. Nothing. Tank, oh. baby. <laughs> Sorry, say that again? I'm, it's all good, it's all good. Oh, you're smacking the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. You're fine. 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Mamma mia. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so I have to roll, sorry, which is it again? Just to save, to keep the spell up? Oh, it's, oh. Just, uh, you, it's a con save yep. and it's uh, a 10 Okay. Speed. Oh, no problem then. Oh. 13. Yeah, yeah. What spell do you have up again? Oh, fairy fire. Yeah, fairy. I mean, there's only like one zombie left, but it's still just an advantage. With one hit point. Is yeah. fairy fire concentration? Wait, yes. Not sure. Is it? Have you been rolling? She's been rolling all time. Concentration saving purpose? Yeah, yeah okay. that's what I was just cool. talking about. Yeah. Awesome. Pause. Did you roll them after you got walloped by the. She oh, you did? did. Okay, cool. Nice. Mm-hmm. That one would have been higher than 10, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, cool. I had good rolls. I was somewhere else. <laughs> it's okay. I was somewhere else. All right, following. The zombie turn, we're back up to the corpse flower. Boo. Boo. The corpse flower flies out a bunch of tentacles. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so Fern Weaver is there. No. And now has 10 bonus hit points to make her total hit points 11. <laughs> My plot device, I'm gonna give it. <laughs> It, it, that's how many they have until they become special. So I will roll this in front of everybody. So two attacks against Mog, mm-hmm. and one attack against Fernweaver. I will take all the attacks. All right. Okay. Okay. So so everybody can see them. Yeah. So we'll do these are the two against Mog. Okay. 
And I know that, I don't know where we can do them so you guys can see them, but. Yeah, I would say right in that right empty space, that like in front of Anavin there. We're just yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. A seven and a, I think that's a nat 20, baby. Oh shit, yeah. to hit me? Yeah. yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah. It's the first one. That's my swirly nat 20. Oh, yeah, what, is, what are you adding like on to chance. the other one? What's that? What's the modifier to add on to the head? Uh, the corpse flowers mod is for a tentacle Wait. attack, plus five. Okay, yeah, so the first one doesn't hit, the second one sure as shit hits. Okay, and you'll take double damage. Yep. Now we will roll shit. fern weavers. And we'll remove these two. Oh. This music is very dramatic. This is yeah. the fog backfiring. I can't oh. even solve rebarbs now because I'm Perfectly. in the fog. Are we ready? What is that? That's an 11. Like 11. Okay. Oh, it looked like a one from what, here, but it's super flat. What's her armor class? The armor class of a pixie? It's like yeah. 10, 10. Can you not have a lower than 10? So she will take the damage. No! And she's taking how much? I'm not that attached to this pixie. <laughs> I care so deeply about her now. I really regret going for flanking, because I could have mm -hmm. done yeah. it. It's okay, it's okay. She takes 2d6 plus 2. Yeah, oh, so that might be less She, she doesn't have, yeah, 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 yeah. You could give her the average, or you could give her the roll dice. I'm uh, I'm always a believer in the I'm also roll. just here for the radicalization of Skyberry. <laughs> Yeah, Sky Gritty gets nasty. <laughs> yeah. This is this needs to happen for Skyberry's backstory. Wait, didn't she say my wife doesn't know that I'm here? Mm -hmm. But she also didn't know what marriage was. She no, she didn't know what a wedding was. Oh, what a yeah. wedding was. Yeah. She said like marriage when oh, I described it. Oh, okay, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. They just don't party about it again. Okay, now what? What happened? What happened? Yeah, what happened? I with you. Why are you sad? It's the end of the episode. No! Pull uh, it off, uh, bro! Uh, <laughs> uh, spur the dying! That's, that's <laughs> horrible what you just did. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> I can't control time. <laughs> they I, don't know what time is, Not bro. with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're literally the dungeon master. This is quite the cliffhanger. And we will return to find out and resolve it. I told you chronomancy is the most powerful magic. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out the resolution next time. Oh. No. <sighs> We're also like, no, no This is you. how you get a low energy ending. <laughs> <laughs> but a high energy start. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right, Ryan Seacrest, take us out. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Okay. <laughs> we'll we'll take a photo of the board and we'll make sure to reset it and we'll come right back into this moment. Yes. Awesome. I okay. promise you, we will resolve combat next episode. Did you roll the damage? But you're just not going to tell us. I did. Okay. Great. <sighs> there was a surprising addition of hit points here that makes That's true. this way different. That's true. Also, you're taking double damage on your hit. Bring it. Fine. Right. Well, dungeon masters out there, have you left your players hanging? Oh, kind of okay. Players? All right. Hey, no, back here. Stop that. <laughs> That's how you get them to show up next. <laughs> <laughs> I endorse this. Have you ever played with the with, with the with the heartstrings of you, 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 your players like a tyrant? Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> you fuck you. You guys <laughs> fuck, fuck on. on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what's going on in your stories when you've gotten to these sorts of moments, the ends of episodes, because when you roll the dice, you make the magic happen. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. And you get to keep it a secret until next time.